Okay, welcome everyone. Good morning and good afternoon, wherever you are. Welcome to Creative Financing for Climate and Energy Progress. Welcome to Minimizing Methane, High Impact Decarbonization. This is Solar as a Solution, Making Clean Energy Equitable in COVID-19 Response. Welcome to A Green Road to Recovery, Clean Energy Jobs, and a Just Transition. Part of long-term relief on how we help families reduce their energy burden is rethinking how we deliver electricity, but then also who has control and ownership over the electricity. We want to make sure that state policy really prioritizes projects that use local manufacturing. Right now, solar and wind and battery installations are actually cheaper to build new than to keep old fossil plants running. We are seeing communities actually all across the eastern seaboard especially that are looking at climate resilience as a major factor in their efforts to recover from the economic impacts associated with COVID. There is a growing leak detection and repair sector in the United States. This has created a range of high quality jobs. We're focused on job creation. We focus on communities most in need, not just the urban communities, but also the downstate communities, which have been impacted by the closure of coal plants for market-based reasons. One of our clear policy recommendations is to streamline interconnection. One of the top line recommendations of Colorado was how do we empower communities to drive their own transition? Well, there are a variety of different regulatory approaches that, that can be applied to methane that, that we can divide broadly in four buckets. We need to, as a country, state by state, start to adopt some sharing for all fuel costs. And we're all talking about equity. We're all talking about recovery. And these components really have to be at the foundation, I think, of any energy conversation. 